And Congress is still concerned about the warrantless stops and searches of GA pilots, as is AOPA, of course. Sadly, reports of pilots being met with guys in uniforms carrying guns are still coming into AOPA. You can read about the most recent ones on AOPA.org. In one case, a father and his disabled son had barely parked their aircraft in Marion, Illinois, when some 18 uniformed and civilian clothed officers ran toward them. The local officers were directed to detain the pilot and his son because of their long flight from California. It was, quote, suspicious, they said. The only contraband found? A container of sea salt. AOPA will use every possible tool to stop these violations of pilots' Fourth Amendment rights, and that includes going right to the top. AOPA President Mark Baker on Wednesday had what the diplomats call a frank discussion with the newly confirmed head of Customs and Border Protection. We got Mark on his iPad shortly after that meeting. It was a really good meeting. And uh, first off, I want to thank the uh, members who brought this to our attention and uh, making sure that we were passing on the appropriate concerns about innocent citizens being stopped or encountered, as they like to call it. So because of our members, we got their attention. I'm very excited about the words uh, from the top down. Uh, we'll make sure that the actions are followed uh, by asking members to continue to brief us if there are other incidents. But I think uh, there's a good chance we got what we wanted on this. Until it gets to be where there are zero uh, stops of innocent people, I won't be happy, uh, but they are already acknowledged that there are going to be less stops in the future. I think the, uh, the general and the commissioner expressed their, uh, their concern about interrupting private citizens along the way, and, and uh, they understand that the freedom to fly is very important to our members and that they shouldn't be harassed, and so that was from the top down. Mark said that at least at the top, CBP recognizes that AOPA members could be the best supporters of the mission of keeping the border secure and CBP doesn't want to lose the confidence of the citizens. And that's all well and good, but in the meantime, you might want to keep a copy of AOPA's CBP checklist with you. If you're stopped by law enforcement, it'll guide you through the things you should do and the questions you should ask. You'll find the check uh, checklist on AOPA.org. Every Thursday, we're working to get you answers. The most experienced reporters in general aviation. Bring you more details as they develop. The stories that affect you. We talk with our own safety expert. Every Thursday, AOPA Live this week.